Yes, how's your body going up after all you did this summer? Uh, I feel like it's holding up real cool. Um, like I was saying before, uh, this week is pretty tough. Um, you know, I can feel some soreness, I mean, the tendonitis. And, <clears throat> and it's not just me, I mean, it happens to everybody on the team, and we've been going, we go for a lot of hours, and it's a lot, it's very physical, so I think I'm holding up pretty well, but I can feel, you know, but like I said, we're on fall break, we don't have classes, so we are dedicated and putting a lot of time into, uh, to basketball, so this week should be tough. Are you able to tell how, you know, playing for the, the girls or other team, how that's going to help you as you go into this season? Maybe how it's going to improve you in some areas, maybe make you different? Yeah, no, I think, I mean, when you go, when you go against players that, you know, that have like NBA players and things like that, I mean, you get experience. I mean, you're definitely going to a lot of experience, and that's something that you know helps your confidence, it helps your game overall. Like uh, you study, you learn to study the game a little better because now you know you can do the same things that you do to certain guys, you know. And uh, but yeah, I think that's the main thing. I'm kind of it's just like the confidence and the experience that I got. I think that will help me like overcome some situations when once the season gets going. You're deep. You're, you guys as goal is to make it to the NCAA tournament. A lot of your fans are not only already getting to the tournament, but they're thinking about how far you want to go. How much do you got to kind of guard against getting too far ahead of yourself at this point in the season? Well, I'm pretty good at not doing it. I always I think. I, I think I do a pretty good job handling all you know, like, things like that, and uh, and I do have a lot of trust in my teammates, and I do believe that if we can put everything together, that we can do something special. And um, but I mean, it's gonna take time. I mean, this week, like I said, we've been doing a lot of improvement. I mean, it's tough. People get tired, but I mean, we keep on pushing, and I think that's what's gonna benefit us like later in the season. And. And yeah, like I said, if we can figure it out, I feel like we can absolutely, I mean, be in the tournament and do great things. But obviously now it's hard to say how far, but I mean, I'm pretty sure if we put everything together, we, we can do it. Do, uh, do teams like Butler put a little extra pressure on you guys because of what they're able to accomplish? Uh, no, I mean, I feel like, I mean, Butler is definitely a bit down for you. I, I mean, unbelievable things. Like nobody really expected at some point. And, uh, and they don't put pressure on us. If, if anything, or at least speaking for myself, I feel like that's just, that should inspire us. Because, I mean, they've done it, so it can be done. So I feel like, I mean, why can't we do it? Right, exactly. That's, that's kind of what I was getting at. Is that because they're doing it, people are saying, well, then why can't Creighton do it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I, they're a great team, and hopefully we can get to that point where we can do pretty nice things like that. Jumped in late. Talking about the NCAA tournament. How are you, Cole? Yeah, nice and chill. NCAA tournament. How often do you think about going there, and what kind of a reachable goal is it this year? I think about it, you know, quite a bit. And it's always been one of my dreams. I feel like I'm glad we could do it. It's going to take time. I mean, it's going to take a lot of work. We put a lot of hours here. And, and it's pretty hard. I mean, Coach is saying that he's making practice, you know, that much harder. So when we get in the games, you know, we'll feel good about it. Like, we won't, we won't get tired and stuff. So I feel like the, the kind of team that we have, we can definitely do it. And we just have to be able to be on the same page and, like, trust each other. And I feel like, you know, we can do I mean, this guy's a limit for the team. You look at the other team, like BCU making a big run. But, I mean, it's out there, right? I mean, you guys look at that like, hey, why not Creighton? Yeah, no, like I said before, uh, I said things like that just inspire you. I mean, they've done pretty nice things, and it makes you want to do those things. I mean, especially when, I mean, this year it seemed like people are believing in us a little more. And uh, so now we just got to go out there and prove it and prove why they should respect us as a team. And, and like I said, if we're able to be on the same page, so I think we can do nice things. How much more comfortable do you feel after uh, the year uh, finally playing you know, after last year? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, uh, now I know what to expect, and the fact that I get to start from the go, I don't have to sit like 10 games. 
I think that that's going to help. You know, so those early games, you always want to make sure, you know, we're together. And we do have some pretty good uh, non-conference games. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm going to be a part of that. And I feel, you know, better and confident about it. How do you think you improved this summer playing the national team? Uh, I feel, uh, like I said before, I feel like it's more just an like, overall experience. Like, I feel like my game just got a little better overall because I was able to, like, compete against those, you know, NBA people and uh, NBA players. And that just helped me overall, just studying the game and just having patience and believing in what I can do. So, yeah. Confidence? How much confidence did you get? Oh, I mean, it was, I was competing against some all-star people, you know, and, uh, and being able to compete decent, I mean, that that you can't do that every day, you know, you don't get to play against those guys every day, so you definitely feel good about yourself, but you also understand that you got to still work, and you got to still, you know, I'm still learning, I mean, I still learn every day here, and you try to work as hard so you can still get better. Do they let you bang a little more over there, or is it oh. more, do they call it a little foot closer? Oh, absolutely, I mean, uh, and that's how basketball is overseas, I mean, um, I think professionally too, uh, it's just way more physical, so I guess you know, I felt comfortable with that, and obviously there were not, you know, the fouls were not really um, physical stuff. I mean, some some were cool, but they let you play. I mean, there's guys more like my type of body, so, so yeah, I play more physical. Do you have to dial it back a little bit now, knowing that they're going to whistle you closer here? Yeah, yeah, coach. I mean, coach makes a big, you know, he always talks about it, and every time we practice, yeah. Uh, when we scrimmage, he always like talks to me about it and you know make sure that I'm showing my hands, make sure that I'm not you know because I'm not gonna be able to get away with some stuff that I did in the summer. As you guys know, last year you know what happened, so we're trying to avoid that and for me to adjust, I won't get a cultural again. So.